Generally, I'm interested in different ways of getting at who, how students understand things and different kinds of questions, problems, exercises um, that allow you to understand what they understand and help them understand things better. Right now, I'm focusing on multiple choice questions. I'm looking at this issue of multiple choice questions in part because of a necessity. We're, our workload is going up and so more and more people are, are turning back to multiple choice questions in math. And what I'd like to do is find out more about using multiple choice questions as a teaching tool rather than just as an assessment tool. What can we do with the multiple choice that helps students understand better what they're learning? rather than just, you know, picking A, B, C, D and getting through the test. For example, if you ask a student, give them a multiple choice question, rather than asking them which one's the right answer, ask them why B is wrong. That's sort of the, the first step in, in using that kind of tool more as a learning tool than an assessment tool. I'm in the, the front end of this thing, trying out all kinds of different questions on my students, different kinds of multiple choice questions, and different ways of using them in class, asking them to explain where the, the math thing is wrong in a, in a distractor answer, asking them to decide what a distractor answer would be, those sorts of things. So I'm at the, at the beginning exploring what the possibilities are. Working with these different multiple choice questions um, is sort of um, adding to the, the array of things I have to work with my students, different ways of Breaking up the class is a, an easiest thing to do. Instead of just asking them to solve this equation, I can give them an equation with a solution and say, okay, where is the solution wrong? Line one, line two, line three. And for a student, anytime you change what they're doing, that tends to wake them up a little and start to get them a little more engaged. I'm hoping that um, by coming up with some good, solid examples of how I've used it in class, then I can interest some folks in looking at this along with me and get a broader perspective of what's going on. I hope to, in the future, um, interest other folks in this so that we can uh, get a broader sample of students, a uh, broader sample of faculty, and um, perhaps even quantify the effect that these kind of questions could have. Mm -hmm.